Well, I think there's three areas that business can have an impact on sustainability. Um, the first one is, is capital. Um, if you look at the uh, Oxfam has done a wonderful job at, at looking at the various aspects of wealth. And every year they publish the 100 largest economies or economic institutions. And if you look at that list today, approximately 60 of the world's largest economic institutions are multinational corporations. You've got um, the revenue of the Netherlands government. Last year was $308 billion. Amazon's revenue was 20% higher than that. Um, if you don't accept looking at revenue, if you look at um, wealth, the, um, the wealth of Saudi Arabia as a nation is $1.5 trillion. And if you look at the market cap of Amazon, it's $1.7 trillion. And um, so what and can, cap way, if I may ask, what can capital do then? You said capital is important. What can it do to transform towards sustainability? Well, we need, this will require investments. Um, as Volker mentioned, um, sometimes you, you, it, there will be a cost because you have to take an action that is long-term and there will be investments required that will also, there will be the capitalist rewards of if I'm the one who makes this investment, people will look to me as the trendsetter um, because I've taken that first step and I can then reap the, the license to operate, so to speak. Um, the other two areas I wanted to quickly touch on of the role of business is um, obviously the small and medium enterprises don't have the billions and trillions of dollars, but what they have is the agility and flexibility. Um, I work for a multinational and we, we, we would open and close operations and make changes and we could do them in maybe 90 to 120 days. My father was a small contractor, small enterprise owner growing up. And when he saw something changing that he had to respond to, he did it the next day because he had to, because if he didn't respond, he would fail and we would not eat. So the second thing that, that I think where the SMEs come in is the agility and flexibility to see a problem and say, I can do something right now and I can respond. And then the third area that business, both small and large can contribute is with innovation. We can't do things, you know, Albert Einstein famously said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. We can't do things the same way we have to, but we don't, in some areas, we don't know what to do yet. And whether it be the small entrepreneur in, um, in Sudan, or whether it be the largest corporations in the world, they have the ability to innovate and say, I see a problem and I think I can fix it and I can try. And again, be the, the trendsetter that uh, lead, follow or step out of the way. People will look and say, this is a leader and this is an innovation and they will um, flatter you by copying it and following you.